Welcome to the Mother Trucker's Paradise. Ha ha ha! Or trucking with Dad. Where we are living in paradise. Ha <laughs> ha. Right here between two trucks. Yeah. We are having ourselves a good old time drinking wine spodiote. I'll show you. What's your friend from New York? What's the one doing my beard? You know that? Oh, that's in Pennsylvania, man. Pennsylvania? Yeah. I, f I always forget his name until the moment we walk up on him. You reckon we'll ever see him again? Oh, sure, sure, sure. He's in that uh, Petro over there by. What's the name of that town? On a hill overlooking. Scranton. I don't know. Scranton. Scranton, Pennsylvania. Every time we're on a hill overlooking Scranton, Pennsylvania, and not carrying. 30,000 pounds of bananas. Yeah, this guy likes to get his hair cut over there. I almost thought about his name just then. You almost, you, this guy likes to, you know what? I almost remembered his name. He's about... What do you like to do? Uh, no, we're talking about something else. That was a song. The barber you like is um, about 165 pounds. Slim. Moderately black, short hair, and as soon as I walk up on him, I'll, I'll the name will pop in my head as as and it'll fill in the space as soon as I, hey, what's going on? Your name, but if I'm not around him, I don't remember his name. You get it Cuba, Oh yeah, pues you get it here Cuba también. Sí, sí. Pero primero yo quiero ir a Isla de Man a manejar los motocicletas a, a volar motocicletas. Yo prefiero ir a Cuba primero. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe we'll do that next. Well, we got to get your... Yeah, don't mention that here. We got to get your passport first. Don't mention what here? Nosotros estamos en el internet ahorita. No dice nada de eso. ¿Dónde? En el internet. Ah. Me estoy haciendo una película para el público que nos, a, a donde nosotros está platicando. Ah. Pa, no, no, paseando. Platicando y, y, y paseándote. Paseándonos. Paseándonos. Aquí. Pues. Ahí. Oh, oh. Oh. Elysian Fields. I forget where this beer is from. I love it. This is pretty good stuff. I've had this a lot of time before. You don't drink more quickly than you. No. You don't drink more quickly. No. No. I. I. The voice I lead. I think he's moving. He just presses brakes. You, you hear that? Are you leaving? Let me say, stick it out the window. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Some people just don't know how to communicate directly with other folk. You no. Know? I mean, just look at right here. You look at is that he's leaving? No, it's not. Okay. That's the side of the cab of the truck. Anyhow. 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 North Carolina Southern Brow. Anyhow. You got a southern draw, don't you? Sometimes I can pull off that southern shit like fucking crazy only because I grew up around it. How you in that Carolina Norte? I like this one. Yeah, I do too. But also I'm ready for a change of pace. Maybe in, maybe in Japan. No. Japan. Change your pants that I want in Cuba. Well, I don't think that's going to really happen outside of occasional vacation. Maybe occasional extended vacation. But once we get the passive income set up, that might happen for a couple months out of the year. I think that's a comfortable compromise. And yeah, maybe Japan. Cuba. And Japan. Cuba. And the Isle of Man. 
in Inglaterra, in España. España. Uh huh. That's when I get the sailboat. That I've been dreaming about most of my adult life. The what? The sailboat. The what? The sailboat that I've been dreaming about. Sailboat. Sailboat. A boat that you sail on oh. with large coverings of, of canvas that push you along the water for free. Saving the massive amount. It's expensive to go around the world on a boat. Especially if it costs diesel fuel. It's expensive to go around the world in anything. Oh, yeah, I will. Maybe not a 50C mo moped like some people do. Remember, um, uh, Joe next door, he traveled on the 600cc motorcycle, which he left at our house for years. Joe Spienhauer. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't even ride that bike, you know. You should have. If he, if he would have come a, a week later, that that motorcycle would have been ours. That was almost borderline forfeiture of property. And his friend, the other Joe, I don't like him for shit. He started a big fight over nothing. He tried to kick me out of his roommate's yard. And there I am, I'm not bothering anybody. All he needed to do was go inside and leave me alone next to the fire pit. I would probably pass out. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't know about that? No. One time before Marisha got there, when Joe was still living in the house, 